Hello there everyone. Good morning. Scott here with Luxury Car Care. Um, as promised, I'm going to give you a uh, give you a quick walk around of the interior that I've been working on. So I, from uh, Unplugged Performance, I bought the, uh, the interior uh, replacement kit, which basically has Alcantara, the gray Alcantara that you, uh, that comes on the door. They basically use the same stuff, they match it. I did the front dash, which is one piece, separate piece. So that's that's been that was very easy. You just had to pop off. Um, I think I already have a video on that. Pop off these side pieces. That pop the whole thing pops out, and this new one pops in. Just replace the side pieces. Um, and then the second kit is basically um, a pillar, B pillar, uh, and then they actually replace the C pillar as well and then this whole piece even though this was black plastic um, it's actually a pretty good complete set because they make all of that the Alcantara so now basically from this line on up and then including obviously the headliner um, is now going to be all the, the gray dark gray black Alcantara so um, as you can see, I'm pretty far into it, and I, I haven't had a lot of solid time or, or, or consistent time to work on this, so it's been a little bit at a time and, and very hard to video when you're doing that. So anyway, I wanted to bring you in. My, my plan is to have this finished, wrapped up this morning, so I'm just going to take you through what I did to uh, remove the old headliner, which is, I think, by far going to be the hardest part. And then I'm going to do the uh, install here this morning. <clears throat> so, to start out, I removed the A pillar, then I removed the B pillar, and for the most part, um, they're clips. You know, there's either plastic clips or there's metal clips. Um, there's, you know, some of them have these these sort of circular, most of them are plastic, there's a few metal which I'll talk through, excuse me, talk through here in a minute. Um, so A pillar, B pillar, C pillar, and the C pillar is like I said this whole piece here, you know, this this whole thing. Um, so where it gets starts getting complicated is obviously the B pillar it has a seat belt going through it right here. So um, you have to be able to release the tensioner on the seat belt, and there's a way to do that. Um, and just just so you know, I, there are no instructions that come from Unplugged Performance on this. You know, they recommend. A professional install. After getting to this point, I recommend a professional install. Um, it's something I wanted to learn. You know, owning a detailing business, this is something I could probably get into. I might want to get into it. Um, I don't know if Unplugged Performance has any interest in getting any professional installers in my area. Something I might talk to them about, but I wanted to see how hard it was anyway. So, um, but. <clears throat> You know, they say three to four hours. It's going to take you at least three to four hours. I think once, now that I did it once, I probably can get it in that time frame. This will probably have taken me five to six hours when it's all said and done. Um, but doing it a second time will be faster for sure. I learned a lot. Um, so you got to be able to release this, this seat belt tensioner. Um, I'll show you how to try to do that on this piece here. Um, I've already done it on the driver's side and put it back together. And then the C pillar piece, this whole piece, you can see this is the new Alcantara, um, and I already have the seat belt in it. So the way this works is this piece here has to come out to get the old C, the old C pillar out and the new in. So you don't have to take it all the way out, but you got to release the whole thing. That 
basically all these clips have to come out and pop out and then you can move that sorry move that piece out and that'll expose, expose a bolt so the seat belt goes down here slides down here and underneath this plastic you'll find that the seat belt is attached to a metal bracket that metal bracket has a hole in it and it's bolted down one single bolt down underneath this piece of plastic um, so the bolt release the bolt the metal bracket comes loose and the whole seat belt comes loose you have to you have to remove this plastic shroud that's in here that comes out of the old goes into the new the seat belt comes out of the old put the new seat belt or the seat belt through the new piece bolt it back down exactly how it was to begin with I put pretty good torque on it it actually wasn't torqued down very hard it came loose super easy um, and the seat belts back together uh, so and then lastly so that's the A pillar the B pillar the C pillar um, and then lastly uh, and you got to take these things out too. I mean, these are just the rubber. They, they come in and out pretty easy. Lastly was the headliner. The headliner is in two pieces. There's the back piece, and then it screws together right around in here um, to the front piece. Uh, the key with this is, uh, you'll notice, right, reminder, here's the old back piece. Um, it has uh, the coat hanger on it so when you open the coat hanger there's a plastic cover back there behind and see that little split you gotta get your screwdriver in that pop that little door open the easiest thing is to remove there's a little shroud that goes around around this pop that shroud off because um, the door kind of sits behind it pop that shroud off open the door that exposes a screw take that screw out and when you take that screw out that's basically the back side of of the light and the coat hanger when you take that screw out that releases this bra this metal bracket from the the liner and the liner will drop out and this metal bracket will be attached right here with this metal um, clip up into the car so then you just got to take a, a pliers and release that and you can reattach it to the screw and that's how I'm going to send it back to unplug performance um, so that's the easiest way and then there's obviously a couple clips in the back of the uh, of this attached to the ceiling um, and by the way so all of these pieces um, have to take come out in one piece I'm going to rewrap them in bubble wrap that the, the new pieces came in and then they go back in the box and then they'll send me a shipping label. So all these pieces have to go back because then I use these, my pieces, as the uh, skeletons or as the, you know, the, what's going to be redone for the next customer. Um, and you got to send them back. They keep a pretty hefty... Uh, deposit down until they receive them and make sure everything's in good shape. So, and then the front piece is once you detach it from the front headliner, once you detach it from the back piece of the headliner, this half is actually still sitting here. Um, and so there's basically five metal clips um, that are right there. There's two on this side, one in the center and two on that side. And those you just have to get your hands right around the side where the clip is on the front and the back of the headliner and you got to just quickly pull down pretty hard pull down quick and and they release um, and the reason that piece is still in here is because um, there's obviously a power cord that comes through um, powers the speakers gives the speaker line and then powers the little lights over the over the uh, head um, in the headliner 
So that line runs, let me get down here. So that line runs, um, you can see it's still attached and it runs down the A pillar, down the A pillar and then down here and disappears. So I have to detach that or, or um, disconnect it, I should say. Um, so that's probably next in line here. Um, and then once that's detached or disconnected, um, this headliner comes out, set it to the side, and then I can start bringing in, I think the way I'm going to reassemble is basically in opposite direction that, that I disassembled, which makes total sense. So I'll bring this headliner in, the main head front headliner. I'll attach it, get that together. I'll get this up and in. Um, actually, before I get this up and in, I'll attach it, and I'll set it here like this is, the new headliner. I'll bring in the back headliner, and the front and the back headliner are actually attached together right here, so the back headliner will sit here, and they screw together, and then this screws on as you screw them together, and it hangs. So once that's all together on both sides, this side and the other side, then I'll start, I'll attach those headliners and get them up and in. Um, and then once that's done, I'll come back and I'll start putting the pillars in. Um, I do have to release and get out the B pillar from the passenger side still. Um, but I want to do this first and get these headliners, get this headliner out and get the new one in. Um, so. Let's do that. So I'm going to bring you along. Um, I'll, I'll come in and try to talk where I think it's necessary, but mostly I'm just going to I'm just going to uh, be quiet, do my work.
So one other thing I forgot. About. That's that's that. Just, um, just some again some plastic clips in here. Just trying to be careful that was holding the cable. One other thing I forgot is uh, sun visors. So uh, as you're taking the pillars off, you also have to remove the sun visor. Um, it's relatively simple. Um, but if you don't do it, you're going to break something. Uh, so this sits up in like this. This is obviously the new one. Um, you got to pop this cover down. And then it actually sits like this. Um, so you got to make sure the cord, you know, the cord is fed down. You're gonna so well before that. Pop this, pop this case, this cover off. That exposes this. There's a screw up here. Uh, move this cover enough to get to that screw. I think all, most of these screws are T20s. I think there's a couple. Actually, the one screw that's regular. <laughs> Let me look here. Um, no, it's also. Uh, I think that's an H. H3 is what it looks like. Um, so remove that screw. Has an H3 head from what I can remember. Um, and then this is just sitting up. So you got to pull the front down. And as you pull the front down, there this is this um, channel is locked into something. You pull that down and out, and it just unlatches it, and the whole thing comes down. And you just got to disconnect the cord. Pretty simple. Um, and you do that for both sides. And once you do that, and you've taken the pillars off, then that, then, then you just gotta, like I said, grab from this side, from this side, quick, hard pull down, and it pops, you know, it releases um, the, uh, the metal clips. I just noticed one metal clip is still up here. So that's gotta come down and be put back on. Alright, so this headliner is ready. Is ready to uh, come out of the car. So. Back piece came out from the side, so I'm thinking that's.
So that's all hooked up. Um, all the other cables on this piece are done. Are already hooked up. They have to detach. Um, but there is a cable that comes back. It's connected to the main cable. Comes back and hooks into the back piece, which then lights the light at the back of the coat hook, which is right here. So you just gotta make sure that it's run, running in the right direction and running back. thought I'd do a voiceover here so um, we have the front installed which you've seen it's not attached to the to the roof yet but it's it's basically installed it's got all the electric hooked up now brought in and I have a helper there if you notice my nephew was in town so um, he's just giving me an extra set of hands um, but we brought in the rear headliner and now we're attaching um, the rear headliner to the front headliner, so that basically will become one big piece. Um, I'm doing it, you know, you can see me doing it over there on the passenger side. Um, the uh, front headliner overlaps with the rear headliner. There's like some tabs or, or um, you know, guides that basically line it up. And then there's a uh, plastic trim piece you'll see here um, in a minute that actually hangs from the ceiling with a strap. And then that goes over top of, so here you go. There's the overlap. You see the guides that go, that guide right there that get it, you know, basically line it all up. And then that black trim piece overlaps that and gets screwed in place and that holds it all together. And it actually helps to hold the headliner up into the, uh, into the ceiling. So uh, it just makes it easier once that's all attached to be able to maneuver and then ultimately get it hooked back up into the ceiling and attached permanently. Okay, the rest of this effort is, it's focused around getting, you know, just getting the headliner ready to go, hooking up all the lines, making sure that the lights work. Um, we got to get the bracket reattached at the coat hook area. So you'll see me doing some of that work here um, you got to make sure that the you know the brackets attached to the roof and then you have the coat hook open and the hole open and the screw undone so we, when you push that headliner back up you can re-screw the headliner into the bracket that's already attached to the roof so that's important um, again just work your way backwards from how you detached it and it should be fine um, and I did run out of battery on my camera, so this, the rest of this video is kind of cut short. Um, so I apologize for that. But basically the rest of the work is just getting the headliner up in, reattached on all the brackets. And then, you know, I'm, I'm basically 95% there at this point in the video. And then once that's done, um, reattaching the uh, sun visors 
um, reattaching the C pillars, then the B pillars, and then the A pillars, and um, and it's pretty much done. I will say the the area that probably gave the the hardest, biggest concern on re you know kind of reassembly was the C pillar area and that rear trunk hatch. Um, you just got to be patient and just work your way around and make sure, you know, as you pull the lower plastic covers out to remove the old C pillar um, covers. Um, they go back in a little difficult. You just got to make sure everything's aligned. Um, and if it's not aligned, you'll know it because it's not going to go back together correctly. And then uh, just a last word, um, you know, I, I love the headliner. It's It's been in now for, I've had it installed now for a month or so. I'm just getting this video out. And I love it. The look is amazing. So much better than the white headliner. And... Um, you know, it's it's so much. It's expensive. It's not cheap from unplugged performance, but so much worth the effort and the time. And uh, I am an authorized installer now of of this kit. So if you choose and you'd like to get the dash or the headliner or both done, uh, please go ahead and, and uh, go to my website www.luxurycarcare.com or just give me a call, and I will um, I'll answer any questions you have and help you out. And then uh, you can either work with Unplugged Performance and get it ordered, or I can obviously do that for you. Um, the install is a little tricky because clearly um, we got to order it, get it in, and then I'll have to remove your old headliner and reinstall the new headliner, and then obviously get the old headliner shipped back to them for the deposit back. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Click like if you uh, enjoyed it and um, look out for some more uh, videos. Thanks.